Hi guys, tonight I have another Project Life process video for you. I did a fall spread for October. Here are all the cards that I have and I created a lot of them using the Doodlebug Designs Happy Harvest collection. I use this six by six paper pad. I love this collection, it's a little bit older, but I love the fun bright colors. They worked really well with my fall pictures. These are the cards I created with that six by six paper pad. I also created the 3x4 wood grain card with it. These three cards here are from Scraptastic. These three cards here are from Gossamer Blue. And the last two cards are from Snap Studios. So that's everything guys. Let's get into this. This is a long video, so get comfortable. We're going to start with this first card here. I love the colors on this card. The leaves are pretty. I added the Scraptastic card from an older kit. And then I have this image that I stamped out from MFT. I added Wink of Stella to the leaves and I use my Copic markers to color it. It is an older set. It's called Falling for You and it's discontinued, but I really love it and it works well. Right now I'm just going to add some alpha stickers. These are from Teresa Collins Nine and Company collection. Now I'm just lightly pressing them down because I do not fit them all in the way I'd like. So I'm able to lift them up and reposition them. A lot of these tile alpha stickers don't have the best adhesive on that so it works in your advantage to be able to lift them and move them around. And I will be able to get all the letters on the title card like I want. And then I'm going to go to my cork a stash and pull out this Hello Fall. I love it. It's perfect for this title card. And then I have this ephemera pack from L Studio. It's Sycamore Lane. I love this ephemera pack. It's 25 pieces and it's just awesome. I'm so glad I use it for this spread. And I'm just going to flip through and see if I can find anything that I like. I really like that cork paper arrow. It looks really cool. And I'm also going to find another piece here that says What a Wonderful Day. I like both of them. I will flip through the rest of them just in case there's something that I've missed or that I think will look better. I always do that just in case. So I am going to add a little bit of washi tape to this. This is also from Doodlebug Designs Happy Harvest just to help that card blend in with the background and I'm going to use my plus glue runner to adhere down everything for this entire spread and I'm going to put that ephemera piece down as well. And I'm going to use my Tombow Multi Mono Adhesive to put down my cork pieces. This is my favorite glue. And I'm just going to position everything on the card the way I'd like. Now I like that arrow, but unfortunately it blends in with the background too much. So I'm going to take out my Tim Holtz Mini Distress Inks. And I'm going to use Vintage Photo. And I'm just going to distress the edges of the arrow. It's going to help it pull away from the background and not blend in so much. So that's a little trick. If you have something that's blending into the background too much, you can try that and it really does work. And I'm going to adhere down my image. I love that image. It came out so cute. And then I'm going to use foam tape. This is a second trick for helping the item not blend in with the background. Once I pop it up on the foam, it'll help separate it from the background. And you'll see that in just a moment when I flip it over and it really makes a huge difference. Now it doesn't blend in as much as it originally did. So I'm really happy with this title card. It came out super cute. I'm gonna add a stamping up rhinestone just for interest down near the lettering at the bottom so it brings your eye to that area so you don't miss reading that. And we're gonna call that done and move on. We're gonna go on to the next card. I love this pattern of the blue and the acorns really cute. Uh, my husband was at work and I took Bella out in the yard to enjoy the leaves and it really was the best Best day. So I'm going to use this rub-on sheet that came in, I believe it was the Scraptastic kit for October. It could have been the Gossamer Blue. I'm sorry. So, sometimes I get the two mixed up because I subscribe to both kits and it was the best day. So I wanted to add that. This is the front of my house. It's basically like a park. <laughs> I love that. I love autumn ephemera piece, but I just felt like it covered up the trees too much. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this little um, star enamel dot down near the best day ever because I just feel like it helps you to read that on the photo and I'm going to go to my cork pieces and pick out this geotag since we spent the whole afternoon in the house and uh, spent 
the whole day outside. I figured it was really cute to show the location we were at. And like I said, my house is like a park. It's gigantic. So you can spend all day and get lost out there. And I wanted Bella to experience the leaves. So it was her first day out in the leaves and we had a great day. So I'm just going to hear this all down. And I use that burgundy card in the background for some interest on the picture. I wanted to use these glitter leaves, but unfortunately I couldn't get them to work. I tried, they were blocking the house. The whole point of this picture was to show where we were at. So I didn't want to block the picture of my house. And I'm just going to flip through and see if there's anything that looks like it will work. And I find this, but unfortunately it blends in with the background again too much. So I'm gonna use the same trick I used earlier. I'm gonna take out my Tim Holtz mini distress ink and vintage photo, and I'm gonna distress the edges. It's gonna help separate it from the background. And I'm gonna use the same trick with the foam adhesive. I'm gonna apply the foam adhesive behind it. And once I do so, and place it down on the card, you'll see that it really separates from the background. It doesn't look like it blends in so much. So that card's complete. I really love how it came out. I love the way your eyes go to the color on the trees. Since everything else is blue, your eyes automatically go to the red colors, and I love that. It's so pretty. Okay, we're gonna go on to this next card. I'm gonna put this dotted paper down for interest to map my photo. Now, when I go to flip this piece over to adhere it down, I end up looking at the stripes and saying, hmm, I think I like the stripes better. So I end up just flipping it over and going with the stripes instead. And I'm gonna place the card, um, the photo at an angle for some interest, and I'm gonna use my tiny attacher to put it down. I like to tilt my photos like that. I think it brings interest into the card instead of making it straight. Now I'm at my wood veneers and I'm looking for something to add. I find that leaf, we're gonna go with that. Now I'm gonna use these scrumptious words from chicken itty I like them but I hate the way they cut them if you can see they're like really forced to the bottom of the stickers so I'm just gonna trim it here and clean it up a little bit because I didn't like the way it looked and basically it says break the leaves which my husband had just done but I just thought it was really funny because within like a couple of hours the whole yard looked like it needed to be raked again so that card is complete we're gonna move on now on these two cards here I'm not gonna do anything I love them just the way they are what I am gonna do is take another one of these foam pieces from the Sycamore Lane collection and I'm gonna pick out the house again because we were at my house and I'm going to adhere that down between the two cards because I just think that it's really cute. Now I'm gonna move on to this card here for my journaling. I'm gonna use my Millennium Sig Pen in the 08 size, and I'm just gonna write that Kelly was at work and I took Bella outside to enjoy the leaves. It was such a beautiful day and we had such a great afternoon. I mean, it was just awesome. And it was a little too stark white for me, so I'm gonna use the same vintage photo distress ink to go around the edges of that card it just helps it bring it together and I'm gonna use these bow bunny um, rhinestones for the top part I felt like the top of the card needed something to break it up so I'm gonna use these rhinestones I think they're really really pretty and they work well and then I'm just looking for something I wanted to use this quotes but they look like they were going in the same direction I couldn't figure that out so I end up with this little push pin that's really super cute from an older gossamer blue or scrap tastic kit and I I just think it's so cute. It just looks like a push pin that I push pinned that little flag onto the card and I love that. It's really cute. I'm going to add that into the pocket and we're going to go on to the next card. Now this card here I wasn't sure what to do with 100%. I have these felt uh, leaves that I've had in my stash forever and I really love the way this green one looked on it and it had the rhinestone on it already and I just thought it was cute then I'm going to use these chicken nitty labels that say there's a chill in the air it was really cool that day but it was really beautiful and I'm going to leave this card as is I didn't want to get it too crazy too busy I want 
to tone it down since the one next to it, which is this one is so busy. Look how pretty the colors are on those leaves. The next pictures I'm going to pull out are of Bella. She loves climbing trees and I'm totally okay with that because she is supervised when she's outside. So I'm going to put down this green wood grain card for interest to mat the photos. I like to do that a lot. You guys know that that watch me and I'm just going to get these photos on the card. Really cute. She is such a tree climber. Oh my God, it drives me crazy. And I love this little ephemera piece, the heart that says, I love this. And I'm just flipping through everything just to see if I can get anything to work. I really wanted that I love autumn to work, but it didn't. And just kind of fussing around. This is the process I go to. I never know what I'm going to do until I do it. I find this tag in the ephemera kit and there's that wood piece again that I tried to use. That isn't part of the kit. That's a scrap plastic card that I cut up, but I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to get it to work. And I find this cork heart. I love that. I'm going to use that on this card. And I'm just going to adhere down that label and I'm going to write Bella loves to climb trees. I know that's totally obvious by the picture, but it's just you know, one of her favorite things to do. She can spend hours up there and I just wait at the bottom for her to come down. Now I'm going to use another one of these chicken nitty stickers that says sweetest pie. Um, I end up moving that. So you'll see in just a moment that I change my mind on that. I'm just playing with more cork pieces, seeing if there's anything. Now I pull out these scrap plastic tabs and you guys know I'm addicted to these. And I say, you know what? I have to put these on here. I have to make these work. So I'm going to attach them with my tiny attacher, which is my favorite way to do these labels. I'm going to peel up that sticker. Thank God it did not rip the photo. And I'm just going to fuss with that a little bit. You want to make sure that they're as straight as possible because once you staple, you cannot unstaple. And now that sweetest pie doesn't work anymore. So I'm going to pull off another one and I believe it says hello, but I'm going to trim it again because I was really unhappy with how these words were in this um, scrumptious set from Chicken Idiot. And I'm surprised I haven't run into that with them before. Now on this other tab, you guys know I like to put my signature stamping up rhinestone in the center and this card is done. I love how it came out. It really came together well in the end. And that page is complete. I'm going to show you all the cards of our fun day in the yard. And the second part of this is going to be page two, and it's just a continuation of that day. We were outside all day. So here is this card. We're going to start with this top left corner. I love this color of card, this orange leaves, beautiful. And I also love this picture I took of myself standing near the leaves. It was just such a pretty day. And I took out that yellow paper clip. I am so excited about finally being able to use that. So I'm going to try and use that on the spread. There's that I love autumn. It would have worked, but I end up taking this piece instead that says, um, these moments will always be special memories. I really like that. And I'm going to use this, um, leaf paper in the background to ground the photo. And I'm just trimming some excess off. When I printed this off on my Celtic feet and trimmed it, I left some white. So I wanted to just clean that up with my scissors. And again, I'm excited to use that arrow paper clip. I have had that in my stash forever and I have been wanting to use it and it does make it to this card. So I'm just going to put down this picture. When I put this little ephemera piece on the top, it's too high. So I had to lower everything, which is no problem. And I'm just going to fuss around with the arrow a little bit to make sure I leave it where I want. There goes that I love autumn. I'm trying <laughs> I'm really trying to use it. It's just so cute. It's going to make it on the spread eventually. And I have this um, flare button from Two Peas in a Bucket, which unfortunately is now out of business, but I purchased it just before they closed up shop and I wanted to include it. Now we're on to the next card because that one is complete. And this is another part of my yard. And like I said, it is huge. My yard is like a park. <laughs> And I love these layover stickers or overlay stickers because it, they're so awesome. You can lay them on top of the photo to see what it's going to look like. And I wanted to add this one here and it's from me and my big ideas that says, enjoy the now. And just 
playing with more ephemera pieces. I think that's how I tackle not getting too overwhelmed with all the pieces in my collection. I use one pack at a time, or at least I try to. Here I'm really liking that frame, but it makes me know that in my stash I have this wood veneer frame that I got at Michael's, and I really liked it better than the purple one. So I'm gonna put this little Polaroid frame down, and I love how this came out. I just think it highlights the wording, and then I'm gonna go back to those chicken itty stickers and I'm going to take the one out that says happy fall and I just trimmed it up. I'm going to take out this cork leaf which is so cute. That was also from the L Studio Sycamore Lane cork piece collection and so is this as well that I'm putting in the top left hand corner. And I'm just going to add a little geotag that says right now. And that came out super cute. I'm really happy. I'm going to secure that down with a staple for my tiny attacher. And this card is complete. And I love it because it really highlights the trees and the leaves and my yard. So I was really happy how that came out. Okay, we're going to move on to the next card, which is this yellow one. And I'm kind of flipping through and I like these leaves here. And I actually took this picture to tease my husband that he had a rake again because he had just finished raking. <laughs> and I'm trying to get this to work but there's actually too much yellow going on. So I'm not exactly sure. Oh, there goes that wood piece. And here goes the I Love Autumn. <laughs> and the I Love Autumn makes it to this card. So I'm really happy. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to mat this on a piece of green paper. It's going to help separate all the yellow going on in that card with the photo because the photo's a has a lot of yellow in it. So I'm going to mat it and attach it with my tiny attacher. Once my tiny attacher comes out, guys, it's just like hard not to use it on the whole entire layout. Everything is getting stapled down. And I'm going to pop this up like I did the other ephemera pieces. And I really love how that came out. Really simple, but Cool. Okay, we're on to this one. Now, I really don't like that circle and perfect, so I'm going to cover it up with some additional little scrap pieces of paper I had left over from the Happy Harvest collection. And I'm just going to cover that up and I'm going to go to my cork pieces and I'm going to add this one that says family because my kitty cats are pretty much my family. And we spent the day together, so I wanted to highlight that. And I'm going to use my vintage photo distress ink to do the edges again like I did the other cards to help it um, go in. Now I lost some footage here. I did end up adding a, I think it's, um, yeah, I ended up adding a wood veneer star to the top right corner. So that's the only part of this that's going to be missing. But I'm going to use these little rhinestones that Ashley sent me. I was like loving these things. They're so gigantic and huge. So I'm going to add one of those. And then down here at the bottom, I need something on the bottom of this. I can't figure out exactly what I want yet. I'm just kind of trying different things. And I end up picking out a, a piece of ephemera that's from the Scraptastic kit from October. It's the little cutabout part cards right there. And I found one that said date. And since I hadn't written the date of what this day was, I wanted to put that down. So I'm going to adhere that. And again, guys, I added a wood veneer star to the right corner, but unfortunately my footage disappeared. <laughs> so it's going to be right there where my thumb was just touching that spot. So that card's done and we're onto this card. And here comes that wood piece that I tried to make work like everywhere. And I put this little doodle bug pop sticker on there that's from that Happy Harvest collection. Now I really do like the way this came out and looks. I end up changing it later. <laughs> You guys will see that at the end of the video. I just felt like it was too busy, so I'll show you what I change. Okay, now we're on to this card here, and like I said, guys, once I start using that tiny attacher, everything's getting stapled down. And here's just another picture of a really cool leaf that I found, and it just was pretty. I wanted to keep it and document it. I'm gonna add this little heartwood veneer. Um, I'm running out of glue, so I'm just switching over to a new bottle there. And I like that little sticker on the top that says, oh, what a day, because it really was. It was an awesome day. And we're going to put that up on the top and just highlight the picture. I really like that. And I believe I also add another Stamping Up rhinestone. And that card is complete. We're going to call that done, and we're going to move on to the next card. 
And this one's a fun card. I kind of really knew what I wanted to do here. I'm going to add that paper for background. And this is a picture of my boy Maxwell. I love him to pieces. And this is like one of my favorite photos of him. He just looks so cute in it. And I'm going to mat this all down. And I wanted to add that extra piece of paper because it just really brings interest. And I found this uh, cork paper piece that says a thankful for you from that same L Studio Sycamore Lane collection. And then I had this really cute like porcupine wood veneer. I don't know. It's just so cute. So I just had to add it to the card. I really like how that looks. Okay, on to the next card. We got Bella playing in the leaves her first time. I love this. It's so cute. Now, guys, I am going to fuss with this card forever, but in the end, it really does come together. And you guys will see this. I could have easily cut this out, but I wanted to show you how it's not always so easy. It may look like it always comes together perfectly for me, but trust me, there are times when I struggle and I rip things up and I change them and I move them around. And I absolutely love these pictures of Bella so I wanted them to come out nice I couldn't get them to work I finally decided that I needed to mat these on something other than green because there was so much green in the photo and the green busy background once I matted them on the yellow I really like it the picture pops now you can actually focus on Bella in the pictures instead of all the green that was going on so that's always a good trick if you need to break your photos away from the background and again I'm going to fuss around with these pieces again. I am going to include that heart ephemera piece on the right. And like I was saying, um, I don't get overwhelmed with too many things in my stash because when I do a spread, I try to pick one ephemera pack, stick with it and try to use it throughout the whole spread. And this way I don't get overwhelmed trying to pick out pieces. So I'm finally kind of getting this where I want it to be. It's going slow, but it's getting there. <laughs> look at how cute she was looking up at the trees waiting for the leaves to fall and then once the leaves fell she would chase them and jump into the piles it was so adorable I was out there for hours with her I just I couldn't stop taking pictures of her I found this old ephemera piece that says smile for the camera I thought it went really well it's super old I think it's from like January scraptastic or gossamer blue from like last year <laughs> so really old and I add another one of these leaves wood veneers down. I really love that since we were playing in the leaves and of course a stamping up rhinestone and I love that heart ephemera. That was super cute. So this page is done guys. That is it. I love how it came out. Now here is the culprit right there. I want to change that card that has the red leaf on it and you're going to see me do that now. Um, once I put it near the other page, I felt like the right side was too busy compared to the left side. So you're going to see me contemplating here. Hmm, let's change it. So I toned it down and put a, a more neutral leaf on top of it. And I like it much, much better. It toned down the whole page. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this thumbs up to see more of these videos and please leave your comments. I love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching guys and there's pictures coming up.